Whoa, look at this, man. Look at this. I'm just like... Because today was a bad day in the WWE Universe. Honestly, it was. Not only did they cancel their Sunday shows, and now they have a Saturday night show and whatever. But, they now have the uh, show on Saturday, and they fired the Divas division. Not just one Diva, but the entire fucking division. But you know what? Yours truly actually gave a fuck about the division from since day one for every Divas division. And honestly, a federation without Divas is a shitty federation. We all don't want a shitty federation, do we? I didn't think so. So what I did was I had a petition for the uh, the sit to bring them back, and of course the link will be in the description of this video if it's still up there. I don't know if it's up there or not. But but the reason is, why do I have this second belt? Well, a few weeks ago, before I beat Lewis for the WWE Divas Divas title, the Federation was closed. The Divas Division was closed up. So I guess why not bling it out, do what I had to do, beat everyone I could for the title, and look a nine-time WWE WWE Universe Divas Champion. And sure, what some people think? Oh, that's probably a gay thing. It's only one thing that's Johnny Rainbow. If you think about it, I've held mixed division titles, something Johnny Rainbow has never done in his life. I've held mixed heading titles, I've even held women's championships before. I mean, come on, it's the finish, the grand slam. Professional wrestling holding every single title known to mankind. And I think I've done that. I mean, if you think about it, look at that. The NWA Global Heavyweight Championship of the World. But honestly, it's kind of sad that you're the king of a division that's, that's all women and trainees. But, honestly, if it gets the division back, why not? Because honestly, besides, besides the fact that people would not have piss breaks between matches, which I think is total bullshit. That they might have a piss break for the match if they don't want to watch the match while they're even there. And why don't they take a piss before the match, or even take a shit, for that matter? I actually gave two shits since HCW, and a lot of this has changed back then. And now it's changed even more, since I am your new nine-time W Universe Divas Champion. And hell, we beat this, we won this in regular matches, hardcore matches, 24-7 rules, it didn't really matter. The fact is, that I beat the system. And consequently, we brought the Divas Division back to where it belonged on the WWE Universe. Now, if anyone wants to face the real Divas Champion, I say bring it. Because if I brought this division back, I'm going to be a fighting champion. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi, or or Sierra. I don't really know what the hell you are. If you want a shot, go for it. I don't really give a shit. But, as the new Divas champion, we're going to bring integrity back to this title. We're going to bring prestige back to this title. No more bikini matches. No more bra and panties. And coming from me, that's saying something because Lord, I love those kind of matches. But to be honest, you have to not only really dumb yourself down to understand these divas, but you also have to play their game. You have to figure out their K thank yous and all these other shits that they do. But as the new champion. We're going to bring honor back to this division. We're going to bring respect back to this division. And we're going to bring back a little bit more extreme matches like hardcore, bar war, street fights, Singapore, K matches. I don't even care. You name it, have a match. You name stipulation. You name where it is. And you got yourself a title shot. I'm not hard to find. So, to the entire Divas Division, you've been put on notice, and you're welcome for bringing
bringing your division back.